Okay, so let's talk about the one at a distance. So you're giving a string S and T, so you have to return true if both of the one at a distance apart, and otherwise you return false. So you can e either insert in, delete in, and replace, right? So you can only uh, insert one character, delete one character, or replace one character. So uh, in this one, so we can definitely know the length shouldn't be the same, right? So they are not the same when they are inserting. When they are deleting, right, they are not the same as well, right? But when they are replacing, they are definitely the same, right? So I can just make sure, like, um, the uh, first condition, are they the same length or not? If they are, then I can know it's either inserting, okay, if they are not, sorry, if they are not, then I can know it's either inserting and deleting. If they are the same, I'm going to know, I'm going to know it's going to be replaced at some index. When they are not equal the same, then I can just uh, check on the next one, right? So uh, let's talk about the replace because this is the easier one. So imagine A, C, A and then A, B, A, right? So uh, in this index, they are not the same, right? But I'm still going to traverse it, traverse the, uh, the, the string and I'm going to just make sure they have the same index I and mean, the same character for the same index. If they do, then you move on the next one. And since they, since they don't have the same index, right? I mean, they don't have the same character, right? I can just compare the substring uh, after the index which they are not the same. So it's going to be what? It's the substring. And then I'm going to say uh, i plus 1 is this is equal to what? Uh, t dot substring. And then i plus 1. Just check the following character. You don't need to care about like what this is, right? Doesn't care. They are not the same. You don't actually care about it. So you move on to the next index, and this is the solution for replace. So what happened for the insert or delete? Uh, you can actually use the same, uh, same format. So insert and delete should be the same concept, but the problem is you have to know which one is the shorter length for the string. And I always, I always put the shortest length for the S and then the largest length for the T. So when when I when I know they are not the same, right? When when at some index they are not the same, right? My I shouldn't move. I will uh sorry my s the i so uh string s string s the i index I won't move. I only move t the index i plus one. This is because I know I am going to delete one or I'm going to insert one something like this, right? At a, at a t because. I need to what? I need to insert one character for the S, or you want to delete one character for the T, right? So, uh, when I call it, you definitely know, okay? So, so what happens if you have what? If you have empty string for the S, and then there is a character A for the uh, T, right? So, at some point, you want to what? You want you want to know this is definitely what? This is definitely. Uh, uh, you can definitely delete it, right? And they are actually the same, right? So, in the uh, in the return value for the inserting and deleting, uh, you should return true, right? And then for the replacing, you only check the condition in this one. If they are not the same, I mean, if they are not the same, you have to return false, right? All right, so I basically finished the idea. All right, so let's talk about the, uh, the code. So the problem is what if the S dot if S and T are the same, it's equal, right? You need to return false. Because they shouldn't be the same. You want to either inserting, deleting, or replacing, right? And I'm gonna have n equal to S dot length, and n equal to T dot length, right? And then if n greater than n, I'm gonna reverse. I'm gonna reverse the string. And this is gonna be what? T comma S. Right now, I know my shortest uh, shortest length is always s, right? So uh, I would say if m equal to m, right? This is like replace, right? So replace s comma t, and then I'll say if uh, I can just what I can just return what I can just return uh, delete or insert, right? Or s t, right? So let's run uh, run my replace function. String A, string D. So uh, if they are not the same, I'm going to definitely return false. So for in i equal to zero, i less instead of length, i plus plus. So if if 
S dot char at AI does not equal to a T dot char at AI. I just check the following. So S dot substring I plus one. If this is equal to T dot what substring A I plus one. Right? This is pretty much the same cause concept, right? So what happens if what? If it's public boolean insert zero insert string s string t and then for in i equal to zero i less than s dot length i plus plus and then uh, at some point i need to return true because a could be empty right and then you are not accessing you're not access the for loop and Definitely, I need to have a. I definitely need a condition. So, because I all, I can only be what if n equal to m minus one. I can only be one character less, right? So this should be what return for this one. And then if not, if there are not one character difference, right? Then I'm gonna return false. So I'm I'm just making sure the length. So this might be my mistake, but I noticed, right? And then, and then when you traverse the follow, you, you always traverse the S, right? Because S is always what? The shortest one. S is always the shortest one. You reverse when S the length is longer. So you reverse. So now you know S the length is always shorter, which is N. So uh, did you insert? So if they are not the same, if S are char at I, uh, that's not equal to T dot char at I. I can just return s dot substring at i if this is equal to t dot substring at i plus one. So I think this is the solution. So let me run it. I might have a typo. Uh, yes, I do, which is 21 i. Okay, now submit. Alright, so this is the solution. So let's talk about the time. So this is going to be what all of all of S. I mean, I'm going to say all of N, right? If they are equal, then you return false. And equal is checking every single character, right? And then you reverse, so this is nothing. And then when you replace, right? And then this is all of N, right? This is all of N. And then when they are not the same, you check the substring that equal equals every single character. So you can you can probably happen in what probably happen in the first character, right? In the first character, uh, they are not the same. So you traverse from the second character to the end. So this is all of n, and this will be all of n, right? So uh, so this is pretty much it, right? So it's going to be n squared for the worst case, and same thing for the DD or in, uh, DD or insert. You traverse all of n, right? And then later on, you, you uh, for the first character, they are not the same, right? And then you check for the following character, and then which is what I uh, from I plus one to what uh, to n, right? So this is what all of n as well. So all of n times all of n is n squared. So this is the worst for the time complexity n squared for the space is going to be constant, right? So uh, this is pretty much it, right? And then if you don't want to use the helper function, right? I'm gonna just copy and paste my solution. So this is gonna be exactly the same thing. So if they are if they are the same, right, you return first. And then and then I'm gonna say n and m for the s dot length and t dot length. So I'm gonna reverse the string if well, if s is greater than m, right? So I put I put the shortest string for the s only. Then I traverse the entire what entire string s, right? Then if they are not the same and I go I'm gonna check the condition. It, when n equal to m, right? Um, this is going to be replaced, right? So I, I just say i plus one and i plus one. If they are not the same, which is what deleting or or uh, deleting or or insert, right? And then s is always shoulders, right? So you don't care about it. So you always substitute for i plus one. And then later on, you will just make sure, like if uh, a minus one, the length difference is actually equal to one. If they are actually equal to one, then this is correct. So uh, again, this is going to be uh, okay for sure. So the time and space is going to be the same, all of n, and this is all of n, uh, all of n as well. But in, in this one, you are using the for loop. So everything is happening in what happening in stack. 
So if you just call the recursion something like this, it's going to be a uh, heap. So, uh, and definitely, I mean, this is definitely a uh, heap, heap for sure, because you are actually recursion, but whatever. All right, so this, this, is not the, uh, this is not the main point. So if you have any question, leave a comment below, subscribe if you want it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.